Good noon, all of you. I hope I am clearly visible, audible. Hi, Sanketana. Good noon. So I am Nikita, and I welcome you to this session, Zat Poem Comprehension. Right. So today we are going to talk about Zat poems. We'll look at some previous year poems. We'll learn how to make this decision as to which question to attempt, which question to not attempt, which poem to go for, which poem to not go for. And of course, if we are going for a question, then how to eliminate options there. These are the things that we are going to discuss today. Right? Good afternoon, Jaydev's attitude. Bonjour. Hi, uh, hi, Amza. Hello, hello. I'm good. I hope the same for you. Hi, Goku. Good afternoon. Hi, Shivanya. Hi, Jaisuman. Okay, perfect. Perfect then. So, as I've very clearly told you the agenda. We learn selection, we learn elimination today. Okay. Now, so I've uh, I've brought all the Zat poems out there, right? So all the poems that have come in the previous years, uh, I think except two, yes, except two, because we have discussed them in our Zat uh, this session, hundred most expected session. We have discussed them. That's why I didn't bring those here. Otherwise, I've brought I've brought all the poems, right? So let's have a look. Hi, hi, Riyanshi, Dhyanesh, Akshay. Welcome to the session. I hope I'm not hiding. Okay, yes, I'm hiding some things. I'll have to reduce my video size a little. Just give me a second, huh? So, meanwhile, this is a Zat 2016 poem. Okay, so just have a look at it, read it. Okay, and. Tell me, would you attempt this in the exam? Would you not? How you find it easy, difficult? Tell me that. Yes. Mridul, that's a very specific question. I'll have to look into this. Okay, then only I can answer this, right? Uh, whether it's based on the, I think it should be based on the college's ranking specifically, right? Because you are mentioning your graduation institution's name. So, uh, for instance, if uh, let's say I talk about Delhi University, every college there would have a different ranking, right? Would have a different accreditation also. So, um, it should be the college's ranking in my opinion. Okay, so now some of you have already answered this. That means this is a sort of a poem that you would go for, you would attempt. I would also attempt this in the exam because A, the language is pretty easy, yes. Secondly, the question that has been asked from me is not a very specific question. It's about the overall theme, the overall essence of the poem. So even if I, let's say, did not understand a couple of words there, let's say I didn't know the meaning of groped, let's say, right? Even if I do not understand the meaning of one specific word, I have still got a rough idea about what the poem is talking about, right? And that's why I would go for this. Some of you have already answered and it's a unanimous C in the chat box. Do the others also agree that C should be the answer? So this is your free ka one mark, isn't it? I would say this is a free ka one mark and this is a sort of a poem that you should never leave in the exam. Right. So, uh, that's why, you know, I don't like to go with these prejudices that I will leave the poem. I will target for scoring marks from other areas. Don't go with such prejudices. See, in your exam, you are definitely going to give a shot to these questions. Vocabulary, grammar, parajumbles. Right. You are going to definitely give a shot to these questions. Apart from it, you get poem, CR and RC. Now, I always, I always look at all these questions, even if let's say I later on decide that I'll not attempt one particular question here or one particular question here, I still look at all of these questions. Why? Because they're short, right? While an RC requires a considerable investment of your time, okay, it may be long, 
you know sometimes uh, passages in rcs are pretty short that that we have also seen that right but sometimes they do require your time they are 400 words approx followed by three questions so these are shorter and that's why i always read i always glance at all my poem and all my cr questions even if i let's say decide to not attempt one of the, one here or not attempt one here right so that's my uh, effort here today to show you this that it's not that all poems are going to be difficult or all questions of a poem are going to be difficult right and it's again jab free mein marks mil rahe hain so why why not take them yes each and every drop matters so look at this poem too this is from zat 2017 again read it and tell me the answer again see best captures the spirit of the above stanza so a general question based on an overall understanding i would give this a shot yes tell me the answer for the previous one it was absolutely c answer for the previous one you were absolutely right it was c okay uh, no other option actually fitted here that's why i said it's free ka marks isn't it so uh, is always deceptive then this is not at all the essence pursue the narrow path avoid the broad ways this is false as per the passage it's not clear because this person is groping when you are groping you are actually uh, in the dark you know you're trying to find your way and light offers sight and insight very general and vague it's about exploring your inner being your inner search so c is the answer there no other option fitted at all okay let's have a look at this poem 2 So Saheli uh, Gautam sir talked about all the major colleges that are accepting the ZAT score, and he talked about uh, them in detail, right? So you can just watch this session, ten days to ZAT, there you will find this answer. Okay. Easy language again. no die thou no old english right no difficult words we know the meanings of words such as floating scattered nothing new for us here right so e something invisible binds disparate objects through elimination you know that this is the only one that makes sense the others don't make sense at all so again see i would call it a free one mark right a low hanging fruit here as well so stars and seas are similar not at all the spirit of the poem right all rivers flow into the ocean this is not even something that has been focused on in the poem right united we stand divided we fall that's not the message this divided we fall part i didn't find it anywhere right religion not particularly discussed so you can very easily eliminate here so this is what i want to show you that uh, not all poems are difficult having said this having said this see poem started in zat in 2016 as in if i talk about the last 10 15 years so in 2016 since 2016 you've been getting one or two poems now till 2018 these were of this sort only where they asked you the essence right and the poems were also pretty easy from 2019 we saw a change wherein they started asking specific you know uh, asking questions about specific sentences and the level of poems also went a little higher so let's have a look at a 2019 poem 2018 we did in our zat uh, part 1 zat 100 most expected part 1 rumi's poem about the one that talked about free will fate that poem right we've already done that 2018 wala so let's go to 2019 yes and this is your poem now read it uh you have to tell me whether you understood it in general broadly did you get it or even if or let's say you didn't get anything kitna comprehension hai exam mein karte hai nahi karte i want those answers from you right read it
What do you say? Relatively trickier, agreed. But uh, uh, what what is the mood of this poem? What is the atmosphere that has been created? Looks like a sad, gloomy poem, right? So when I read it for the first time in the first reading, this is what I also got a lot of blackness there, right? Black trees, black lake, black boat, everything black. And then the last sentence particularly, this is the silence of abandoned souls, right? So a uh, sad, gloomy poem. There's negativity in the poem, correct? Right? So, I would look at the questions then. Now, question number one talked about uh, which of the following options best explains the effect of images in line one. What are the images in line one? Let's have a look. Black lake, black boat, two black cut paper people. Okay, what is the effect? So, now I would base my decision on whether to attempt this or not on the basis of the options. I would base this decision on the options. Kya options are difficult lagengi, then I would leave it. Otherwise, I would attempt it. So, look at the options here and tell me. Uh, would you attempt it? Would you not? Black lake, black boat, two black paper cut people. Okay. Sure, Jasuman, I will explain it. Don't worry. So, some of you have already started answering. Sociopath says E. All right. Evil. All right. Uh, sociopath, don't you think evil is a little extreme here? Evil. We do sense, a, there's a sense of doom in the poem, right? Abandoned souls. There's a sense of negativity. There's a sense of gloom there. So, gloom, doom, negativity. But evil, wickedness. Do you sense that? That somebody is actively, let's say, trying to do something bad to another person. That is evil. I did not sense evil here. Right? So, uh, they, in fact, they are getting warning signs also. The leaves, they are round and flat and full of dark advice. So, they are sort of, you know, this dark advice is a, a sort of a cautionary advice there, a warning sign there, right? So, uh, I didn't sense evil here. E, I eliminated on that basis. C, B, A, okay. Uh, so, let's, let's first, uh, first see which we can eliminate. Rebellion, I did not sense that there was some sort of a protest or rebellion or revolution happening in the poem. So, this I would say alien. Then the atmosphere indicates a cyclical nature of life and death. That okay, life gives way to death and then death again gives way to life. This is the cyclical nature. Do you feel that? Lake, boat, paper cut people, that there is some sort of life death connotation there and that to the cyclical nature has been emphasized. Again, I found this to be alien. I eliminated. Evil, extreme, eliminated, right? While there is a repeated use of black, but that suggests a sense of doom to me. Now, between A and D, you have, read the question stem very carefully. Which of the following best explains the effect of the images in line 1, right? So, we talk about three different things in line 1, black lake, black boat, paper black paper cut people that's not really the theme of the poem if you asked me to give you one line that sort of gave the theme of the poem you okay you tell me which would be that one sentence that would give you the best idea about the theme of the poem would it be the first sentence here yes tell me would it be the first one 
in my opinion it is the last sentence this is the silence of abandoned souls so now we get this idea that there are some people who are probably leaving a particular place okay they have they are being forced to perhaps so abandoned souls right and there is a lot of gloom and doom in the air right things are as silent as they can be right so if you asked me to capture the theme it is this others are just images that are being evoked to explain this theme ye sari images hai black trees fishes right flowers all of these are some are creating some sort of a picture for us to give the mood of the poem right so no this is not capturing the theme and in fact option a is not even answering the question the effect of the images lies in option d which is the answer here the black lake lacks regenerative potential black boat connotes the funerary boat cut paper people are unreal okay this is the only one that actually explains the images to us now some of you must be wondering how do i interpret so much because the poem does not really clarify this that it's a funerary boat the poem does not say that these people are unreal so isn't it also alien some of you must be wondering that and i agree that here the examiner is going beyond what is stated in the poem right going beyond so it's only through elimination that you arrive at this if at all you know while attempting this question you feel ki nahi mujhse narrow down nahi ho raha i am not even able to narrow down to two options in that case you better leave this question because i was able to narrow down to two and i felt that a was not really answering the question and it is not this sentence is not really the theme i marked d okay if you are not able to do this then you better leave this question i would at least attempt question 1 here right very good those of you who said the last line very good as the theme of the poem so d delhi that is clear to us now how about this one question 2 okay regenerative potential that means that you have the capability to regenerate things so for instance in soil soil has this potential that you know when soil is fertile things are able to generate from it plants are able to generate okay and in fact regenerate them in seasons so we are saying that this lake is not a sort of a fertile lake it can't give life right that's what we have, we mean by regenerative potential okay all right quite a few of you say c do the others agree now see even when this poem was relatively trickier for you right uh you would admit that you would be able to attempt at least one of the two questions in the exam so you can be selective here nobody is stopping you from being selective read the poem look at the two questions attempt just one that is still a plus one yes still a plus one isn't it okay and even if let's say in case you are careless you attempt both the questions let's say at that point you feel confident that is also the case at times then also it's a minus 0.25 for that one so still a plus 0.75 that's what i'm trying to say and every drop counts yes these are shorter questions they take relatively less time so don't spend a lot of time don't keep on rereading the poem if let's say you are uh, you are bound to do that read it thrice or four times then uh, that means okay you know if you don't understand it if you don't understand even the rough theme by reading it once that means it's a challenging poem for you then you can be selective if on reading twice also you don't understand anything that means you shouldn't attempt okay that's that's my suggestion to you right so c is the answer here not a uh, why do you think that they are interchangeable the stars are flowers in the sky and the flowers in the lake are stars in water that has not been implied stars opening among the lilies literally it means that you know you can see the light of the stars in the lilies okay so the uh, as the lilies bloom the uh, light of the stars is reflected there but that's the literal meaning that's the literal meaning 
but any image that we include in a poem we are trying to convey something through it that's the beauty of a poem no hum directly nahi kehte baat ko yes we try to convey something through the images so you have to give me an evaluation of the line not the literal meaning of the line literal meaning is still relatively clear you have to give me why it has been used and uh, what is it representing what is it symbolic of so that's why see hope this is clear okay so this was the sort of a poem where i would definitely go for at least one question that's that's what i would do now some of you asked for an explanation of the poem see as you can see the author the perhaps the poet is a spectator here or this poet could also be one of those people who are let's say crossing the lake it could be either right uh, i think the poet is a spectator here right the poet is looking at these people so the poet sees a black lake black boat two black cut paper people where do the black trees go that drink here so by the side of the lake there are these black trees so the author is thinking what is their span how far do they spread how far can they cast their shadows their shadows must cover canada then she makes a guess that you know they are shadows and see these are shadows of doom and gloom again these are not happy shadows that they are casting right uh, when we say it cast a dark shadow cast a black shadow we are talking about doom gloom etc a little light is filtering from the water flowers now see it's not all sad a little light is filtering from the water flowers so we do have some hope here in this sentence also their leaves do not wish us to hurry their leaves do not wish us to hurry so uh, these waters these flowers that are there in the lake they don't want people who are trying to cross the lake to hurry they don't want them to hurry why they are round and flat and full of dark advice they are sort of warning cautioning that see don't hurry probably things on the other side are also not that great not that bright so it's a typical poem of somebody being forced to leave their homeland right uh, so for instance a lot of people uh, in europe we have seen this right a lot of people were trying to emigrate to europe through uh, water right so would fit there in my opinion cold words shake from the ore so from the ore also cold words are shaking right so there's no comfort no sense of comfort even when you are crossing the spirit of blackness is in us it is in the fishes there's a again there's a black spirit everywhere in the atmosphere the atmosphere itself is very dark right it it permeates everything a snag a dead tree is lifting a farewell wala hand valedictory is saying your farewell so a tree from the other side is lifting a valedictory pale hand okay it's a sad farewell stars opening among the lilies but you still have some hope of a brighter future perhaps right there's still some hope are you not blinded by such expressionless sirens okay these expressionless sounds these expressionless signals are you not blinded by them this is the silence of abandoned souls so this is these expressionless sirens signals sounds they represent the silence of souls that have been abandoned or that are feeling abandoned right this is what the poem means ideal time for vrc akshay uh, it depends on whether it is your strength or not if it is your strength then 70 minutes if it is not your strength then 45 minutes 45 to 45 minutes i think should do right okay yes one right out of two oars are these the uh, yes the propellers of a boat correct all right then so this was at 2019 let's go to that 2020 again one poem followed by two questions so look at this one very simple read okay and then let's see if we can attempt if we'll try to attempt this question here yes tell me and please do like the session in case you find this relevant in case you are able to understand the poems better essay has already happened riya essay writing we've already had a session on that in the last lab to that okay
Okay. All right. So those who are saying A, how did you eliminate? Tell me. All right. So those who say A, why A? Those who say C, why C? Give me reasons also. I think D can be easily rejected here. In fact, B, D and E can be easily rejected. See, um, there is no comparison. We are not saying that desire is greater than hatred. Okay, no comparisons have happened. So, we can't say desire overpowers hatred to control humans. Moreover, controlling humans is not something that has been discussed. So, two errors in option D. Easy to eliminate. Ambition is more powerful than envy. Have we discussed ambition? Okay, perhaps you are equating it with desire. But where has envy been discussed then? I don't see it being discussed. Hatred and envy are not the same. No, Jealousy and hatred, two different emotions. Oh, they may be for the same person, but emotions different. Hai. So, D eliminated. Self-doubt not discussed. Alien. It has to be between A and C. So, those who say... Fire is desire and ice is hatred. Absolutely. It's symbolic. Again, it's symbolic. Right. Uh, so, it's, an, it's a poem that talks about your, again, your feelings, your emotions. However, however, uh, it is talking, I mean, it's using metaphors of fire and ice for them. Right. So, desire is there. Hate is there. These are the main, I mean, these have to be a part of the theme. Now, C says, hatred destroys what desire cannot. That means whatever is left over, that hatred will destroy. But the author is not, the poet is not saying this. Because the poet is saying that even hatred would suffice. That means alone, wo bhi sufficient hai. Apne aap mein sufficient hai. In itself, it is sufficient. It's not saying that whatever cannot be destroyed by hatred will be, uh, so will, uh, whatever cannot be destroyed by desire will be destroyed by hatred. That is not what is being said. So, that's why this becomes erroneous in that sense. Greed here has been equated with desire. And that's why A is our best bet. Now, uh, A is our answer. Okay. So, how many of you found this question to be easy? How many of you found this difficult? If easy, easy to moderate one, uh, one category and difficult another category. Yes. Up to a certain extent. No, no, Sachin. It's not saying that only up to a certain extent. Both are sufficient in themselves. Both are sufficient in themselves. Okay, Sachin. Moderate, easy to moderate. Okay, okay, okay. Easy, all right. Stuck with two options. So, same happened with me in the exam, right? I left this question. So, I'll be very honest with you. So, I, uh, I mean, again, in the exam, I have to make quick decisions. So, I decided not to attempt this because I was a little confused whether I could equate greed with desire or not, whether one's world meant the world or not. So, because I had this confusion and um, I was confused between A and C, I left it. So, in the exam, you make that, you take that call, okay, and you take that decision, right? Absolutely up to you. As I said, we can be selective. Now, Let's have a look at the second question. This one I attempted, which is the most unsuitable title of the poem. The one that fits the least. Okay. Moderately difficult. Okay. All right.
Y A the annihilation. Annihilation is complete destruction. Okay, nihil nihil means zero. Nihilo means zero. Annihilation is complete destruction. Hypothesis is your conjecture about it. How the world will end? Your guess, your assumption, your conjecture about it. So why A? I see quite a few A's. Okay, love and detest, a tale of destruction. So love and detest. Now here love has not been used as a positive emotion, right? Our desire for something, right? Uh, that could also be make a, when we love something too much, right? When we desire something, we probably love it too much. So in that sense, it can be seen. But I again, I was iffy about whether this is a suitable title or not. So I read the other options. How the world ends fits, just like A fits. How the world ends also fitted. So I eliminated these two right away. Destruction by fire and ice. Fire and ice have been used as metaphors, but yes, we are talking about destruction through these through uh, these two media. So yes, even this fitted as a suitable title. It is between B and E. Emotional destruction of the world. See, uh, is it an emotional destruction or is the world basically fine? It is a destruction that is happening because of these emotions. But is it just an emotional destruction? Yes between B and E. Is it just an emotional destruction? Can I say that? The destruction is perhaps happening because of these two emotions, but it is actual destruction that is happening, right? So, we can't say that it's an emotional destruction of the world. Destruction because of emotions can be very real. It is not simply an emotional destruction. So, between B and E, between B and E, E is the one that is more unsuitable, right? Because this does not say that it is some sort of an emotional destruction. Caused by these feelings, fine. But the destruction in itself is not emotional. Now, some of you might feel that B is all, like, you know, B also sounds very uh, alien because of love. Where is love discussed? And I agree with you. These are not well-framed options. So, again, the message that I'm trying to give you is that in this poem also, out of two, you could choose one. Right. So, for some of you, this was easier. So, you chose to attempt this one. I somehow uh, resonated more with this one. So, I attempted this one. Right. Whichever works for you, whichever you feel that, okay, I am able to eliminate here, I am able to narrow down to two, or usme bhi mujhe ek higher probability lag rahe. Attempt that question. Right. And sometimes, if you are lucky, both the questions might be such that you are able to attempt them. Okay. All right. So, I hope this is clear to you. This was at 2020. Okay. So, the poems uh, in terms of language have not been extremely difficult. You haven't got uh, such language that you're not even able to understand at all. Rough idea sabka lag ja rahe hume, Till now. Right? So, let's have a look at that 2021. Yes. Read this. Detest is when you dislike, intent, uh, you know, intense dislike for something, contempt for something, hatred for something, that is detest. That's when you detest something. Right? So, look at this poem from ZAT 2021. Easy language again. And an essence of the poem question. Usually easy, usually. Let's see. Right? This is the answer to E hi hoga answer, isn't it? An easy question. Yes? Absolutely correct. E is the answer here. And uh, it talks about, you know, taking a break. So, a very chilled out poem by Vikram Seth. And I would definitely attempt this question in the exam. It makes all the sense to go for this. Now, let's see the second question. Let's see what you say about it. So, this is about these specific sentences. 
Ja? Okay. Yes, Mukund, absolutely. All right. Give me reasons also for your responses. <laughs> okay. Why D? Why D though? The cooler version of path can perhaps tell us this. So, you are absolutely right, D is the answer, but why? That is my question. I know some of you have already attempted it, maybe you know the answer, but rational batao mujhe, give me, the, give me the reason. Okay. Shortest option to read, that is why. Okay, actually a good rational uh, sociopath. So, now here, it is about, you know, just relaxing, just sitting, not worrying, right? Not worrying about anything else, not worrying about the world, not distressing, not worrying about anything that is staring at us, that may be all around us. So, this poem is a poem of not worrying, not caring about uh, anything else for those moments, for those few moments. And that is why D is the answer. However, it is definitely trickier than the previous one. So, if let's say in the exam you are able to get there, right, through elimination or if it strikes you in the exam, good. If it does not, leave this question. Okay. So, uh, you have already attempted at least one question based on the poem. So, it was not a waste to read it. The uh, reason why D is the answer is because, see, grackles are these, you know, black birds with piercing eyes, right? Like we have mena in Asia, grackles are similar birds. So, uh, with grackles all around, so as if we are, you know, surrounded by them, they are staring. So, staring is not a very positive word, isn't it? It's about being judged. So, as if we are being judged with, uh, you know, their beady eyes are judging us. So, the author is still not bothered. So, we should not care about grackles but us. They love to bask in the sun. This is not something that has been indicated. They love to stare at us. However, they maintain a two feet distance. This is false. You two feet away. Okay. The person that the poet is talking to is two feet away. Not the grackles. Witty discussions are not happening in the poem. No need for wit. Okay. So, it is very easy to eliminate A, B and even Right. It's between C and D. Uh, this one says they can give us lots of happiness, but then they are staring at us. So, that's why it does not match the tone of the line. And that's why it's not the answer. If you're able to decide that, well and good. Okay. All right. All right. We should not care about other things. It seems the most appropriate. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Uh, then the resonates. It resonates with the essence of the poem. Correct, correct. Okay. So, one out of two you could attempt here or some of you two out of two also you could attempt here. In any case, it is a win-win. Right. In 2022 also you got one poem by Vikram Seth which was very easy. So, in 2022 you got two poems. Right. One poem was followed by just one question. This was by Vikram Seth and it was a pretty easy poem. Right. I want you to do this on your own in case you have not done it already. 
Then there was one poem that was relatively trickier. It was followed by two questions. Now let's again see how many we are able to attempt. Can we attempt both? Should we attempt one? Let's have a look. This was the ZAT 2022, the trickier poem that I'm talking about. Let's read. Yes. Why not E? Just a second, just a second. Shashwat is asking, why not E? Uh, grackles like humans uh, love to bask in the sun. Is that what the author is trying to convey? Is the poet trying to convey this? That just like us, birds also love to bask in the sun. Does not match with the theme of the poem at all. We are not talking about how all, all the living beings in the world love to relax. That's not the poem. We are just concerned about us in the poem. Our busy life. Drinking coffee. Right? So that's why uh, this is not something that I can infer on my own. That they love to bask in the sun. Okay? Does not match the essence also. You two feet away. The other person that the poet is talking to is two feet away. That's good, Nridul. That means you should give, give poems a shot in the exam and not leave them out rightly. Yes, yes, absolutely works. Read the poem. I, I, I think it's not a difficult read, so to say. Matlab, uh, wo black wala jaisa hai ye. This is similar to, the level is similar to or perhaps slightly lower also as compared to that black lake, black uh, whatever. It hurts to walk on new legs. The curse of consonants, the wobble of vowels. And you, for whom I gave up a kingdom, can never love that thing I was. When you look into my past, you see only weeds and scales. Once I had a voice. Now I have legs. Sometimes I wonder, was it a fair trade? So again, the last sentence is capturing a sort of a theme, right? Let's have a look at this. Let's see what you say. Question one. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. My, uh, again, give me rationale, give me reasons. Okay. So, sometimes I wonder, was it a fair trade? Some trade has happened. Something has been traded for something else. That should capture the theme of this poem. Which options talk about this? Let's see. It's not a nostalgic recollection undermining materialistic gains. Uh, this is not the theme of the poem. Perhaps somebody reading it may probably think that the poet is biased and then may form this judgment on his or her own. But poem ka ye theme nahi hai. That you know, when we recollect something nostalgically, we are, tend to undermine our materialistic gains. This is not the theme of the poem. This could be your opinion, let's say. Uh, your judgment, so to say, after reading it. As the future unfolds, our past looks pleasant. Uh, again, the author has not nostalgically reminisced about her past. The poet has not done that, that she is, you know, nostalgically recollecting, oh, it, they were such happy times. That has not been there. So, rather, the poet is telling the other person for whom she sacrificed things, she is telling them that, you know, you, when you look into my past, you see only weeds and scales. 
okay so uh, you look at just the negatives but how do i find my past pleasant or not pleasant not given in the poem okay our concern for loss is more than what we gain again this could be your judgment ki ye to zabardasti you know this person is whining why is she whining she has gained something right this could be your judgment after reading the poem but not what she wants to convey so bce easily eliminated the choice was between a and d here okay it was between a and d trade ki baat kis mein ho rahi hai out of this something is being sacrificed for something else this says our loss of identity so this is just talking about what is being sacrificed but it does not talk about what is being gained right moreover irreparable is a slightly extreme word don't you think here yes she has gained love but you know this love has come with pain because she had to sacrifice something for this love so there is a trade that has happened the love has not come easy right there is pain that has accompanied it that's why a is the answer now honestly uh ye nahi uh, i mean i don't think that this is an easy question okay so in the exam if let's say this uh i think i left this ha ye maine nahi kiya tha exam mein that 2022 i still got an 18.5 in vlr right so that's why i'm telling you need you need not attempt each and every question you can be selective right so I I didn't attempt it because मुझे लग रहा था कि हाँ आइडेंटिटी की तो बात हो रही है एंड देन आई वो सॉर्ट ऑफ कंफ्यूज दैट यस शी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट पर हैव शी इज टॉकिंग टू हर लवर राइट शी इज इन पेन ऑल्सो सो आई वॉज कन्फ्यूज हियर राइट आई चोज टू लीव दिस वन इन केस यू आर एबल टू रियलाइज दिस दैट ट्रेड विच इज समथिंग आई ऑल्सो रियलाइज लेटर दैट ट्रेड इज मैंशन हियर ओनली देन यू अटेम्प्टेड अदरवाइज यू कैन लीव ओके नाउ कमिंग टू क्वेश्चन टू टेल मी दिस वन Okay. I did not attempt anything from QADI, so I focus more on VLR, BM. I try some questions of QADI just for fun, right? No, no. I I attempt DM also. I do try D uh, QADI also. ऐसा नहीं है मैं try नहीं करती, right? B D Okay. Okay. okay a uh, mostly i've got b's but i've also got some a's here mostly b's but some a's the poet has lost his or her speech no when you know when this person says once i had a voice now i have legs having a voice having a voice also means that you know you are being heard you have some rights that's why we say you know you know we should give voice to the voiceless this is said metaphorically that does not mean that those people can't speak so this is too literal that she has lost either her speech no no okay the poet is now wondering see mai kya thi aur ab mai kya hu that is what is being wondered on here in fact this whole poem it's about identity it's about how she has lost her identity uh, while adopting some new things right and she is not happy about it perhaps she is wondering was it a fair trade so b is the best answer choice here i found this question to be pretty easy like b was a very clear cut answer for me okay because others don't fit it's not like she can't speak now so she has lost his or her speech moreover even if you let's say don't realize this in the exam this is just answering this part once i had a voice it's not talking about what she means by now i have legs so once i was this person now i am this person so it's a contemplation it's a reflection an uh, introspection of his or her identity so that's why b is the answer here right having a say yes 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 we are uh, absolutely sociopath i agree great itni thand mein aapne type kiya yes 
how much should we attempt in VLR? See, again, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, Vishal also asked this question earlier. If you are aiming to be pretty safe in terms of clearing the cutoffs, you should score a 10, right? How can you score this 10? You'll have approximately 7 questions from vocab, grammar and PJ. Vocab, grammar, PJ. Then, let's say 2 to 3 from poems. 4 to 5 from CR. And then 12 from here, RCs. 12 from RCs. So, my suggestion is, of course, you try to maximize your score here. Let's say you attempted all 7 here, right? You got 5 to 6 correct here. So, that means 4.75, right? You got 1, you got a plus 1 from here, 5.75. You attempted two here on the lower side. You got both correct, right? You were pretty cautious here. So, how much have you already scored? You've already got a 7.75, right? You just need a 2.25 from here, right? So, that means, agar mera net ek RCB correct ho gaya na, that means I am more than safe. So, this is how you can think of in terms of clearing the cutoffs. In case VLR happens to be your strength, for instance, I attempt all the questions of VALR. Of course, I am a little selective there, but I glance all the, at all the questions at least. I read all questions, all RCs I read. Okay, then maybe let's say I would not attempt one question, two odd questions in RCs. Maybe let's say I don't attempt one question here, although I do attempt on the higher side, right? Uh, so, in case it happens to be your strength, then you spend time here, right? 70-75 minutes spend. Karo. Maximum jitna kar sakte, utna karo. No limits there. Right. Attempt all if you can. Right. So, uh, if let's say you go for a 22 plus, 22 plus ka if you go for an attempt, right, and you have a decent accuracy here, you will get a 99 percentile plus in VLR for sure. Okay. So, even with the 75, 75 to 80, 70 to 75 accuracy ke saath bhi 99 percentile plus a jayega aapka. So, it depends on how much time you will spend on this, what is the score that you are aiming from here, right? 18.5 uh, I had 99.9 percentile in VLR. That means you 15, 16, 15 ke around per 99.5 आ जाएगा. उससे भी कम पर आपका 99 आ जाएगा. Okay? All right. That's good, Soshipa. That's good. That's yes, Nagarajan. Absolutely good. If you get a 75 percent accuracy there. Amazing, amazing. Anji, Anji, class. Yes, this, these were the poems that I wanted to discuss with you. I hope it has given you some insight as to how to tackle this. So, uh, one is don't go for an all or nothing approach. Don't go with prejudices, right? Uh, try to get a rough idea. If there's an essence of the poem question, do give it a shot, right? And uh, sometimes even the line, specific line questions can also be easy. So, uh, make a decision there. Whether you want to attempt a question, whether you don't want to attempt it. Right. Can be selective. Don't let go of any drop of marks that you can get. So, and do join us for the detailed analysis after the exam. 8th January, 7.30 p.m. We'll talk about all these things, right? So, you should join both Srinivas sir and Gautam sir there. This is already going on. We've already conducted some sessions. Part 4 is left. I'll come with a part 4 for VALR with you. Uh, I think day after tomorrow, right? And uh, we... You know, in total with DM, with VLR, we have covered approximately 100 questions with you. So, do watch these sessions. Then, uh, this is our CAT 23 comprehensive program. I'm sure you're aware of this. Yes, we provide you a lot of things here. See, eight pointers. Read them and you can enroll right now. Also, we are coming uh, up with a CMAT 2023 All India Open Mock because some of you are demanding this, right? Uh, do take it 21st Jan to 29th Jan. It will be live. You can register right now in case you are aiming for CMAT. Okay. All right then. All right. Uh, this is a scholarship test. If, if you want to enroll for CAT 2023, no, you can take a scholarship test and if you get decent marks here, okay, you can get up to 90% scholarship. And this test is not very difficult. Let me assure you of that. You can register right now. 
okay then so this is it from my side for today uh, do subscribe to our channel so that you get notifications for any sessions any that related any cmat related any mhct related sessions that are going to happen soon okay we are there on social media i'm sure you may have followed us there right um, you may have seen us posting a lot of memes and all also and yes do download the byju's exam prep app because we conduct more sessions there as well so for instance at 5 pm today I have a session on vocabulary there, so you can come and join me. Okay. All right then. Bye bye. Thank you for attending. Bye bye. How to any DM sessions? No, uh, Shrinivas sir is taking DM sessions. Ninety nine percentile plus. Uh, as I said, fifteen per ninety nine point five tha. So accordingly, you can make some extrapolations, right? Uh, then. fluctuation in vrc accuracy see fluctuations happen because let's say my grammar concepts are not in their place in vocabulary i am making random guesses wild guesses okay so you know reduce the number of extremely wild guesses out there and be sure of your concepts like para jumbles just cross check the option that you've marked once read your para jumble in that order is it making sense or not so these are some things that you can do to maximize your accuracy to reduce the negatives right in rcs as i said in zat is an exam where you can be selective just mark those answers that you're sure of okay uh, you know prioritize your rcs so these are some strategies that will help you to uh, minimize your negatives okay all right then all the best to all of you bye bye